Secrets. We all have secrets. But what is a secret? Is this a secret? Are you? Yes. You're my little secret. Plans. Plans are a magnificent little human construct that help us to enact our will, for better or for worse. Usually for worse, if I'm being completely honest. But if we combine secret and plan, then we come across something truly special. Secret and plan. No, you idiot. Sorry. Secret plan. Plan. Kia ora, guys, guys, and everybody pals. I'm Alison Wonderland, your favorite Kiwi trans girl, and there are people out there that seem to think that we are up to something. That there's some sort of grand, conniving conspiracy among trans people to have an adverse effect on the world. <laughs> it sounds so exciting. And it's true. Today, I'm here to clear things up and lift the curtain on said conspiracy. So, what's really going on behind the scenes? I'm going to show you the evidence before I jump to the conclusion. What are trans girls after? What do we want? Well, I'll tell you what we want. What we really, really want. We want a zig a zig uh. Honestly, I don't really know that much about my trans brothers, but all across the world, trans women are working hard, grinding on each other, making their way in life. And in my experience, they are all chasing five things. Number one. Trans girls want estrogen. It reduces your masculine features and makes you look more cute and round and femme. We'll get onto why those are a positive for trans girls later. Number two. Trans girls want skirt go spinny. Skirt go spinny is a fun phenomenon where you wear a skirt and do a twirl. And it goes spinny. This, in my experience, is also more of an indicator of state of mind. So when I say that trans girls want skirt go spinny, I also mean that trans girls want to wear feminine clothing. Number three. Makeup. Most, not necessarily all, but most trans girls want makeup and to learn makeup to help them look and more importantly feel feminine. Number four. Memes. Oh my god. Memes <laughs> almost to a fault. In fact, definitely to a fault. Trans girls love memes way too much. It is a problem for sure. Number five. Head pats. Pat pat. They just make us happy. And that right there is just it. Ladies and gentle people, trans girls want to be happy. Why do we want all of these five things? We want to feel cute. We want to look cute because being cute makes us feel warm and fuzzy inside. It makes us happy. It makes us feel lighter. We look in the mirror and we think, ooh, I'm just the... Okay, the coast is clear. Now that the conservatives have gotten bored, scared, and clicked off, we can start the real discussion. It's been a while since our last update, and things have been progressing steadily. So it's time for us to reorganize and regroup. Our plans are in full swing and they are far too momentous to stop now. Now, of course, you all know all about the transgender as it's just ingrained to you from birth as a trans person, but I'm gonna go over it again just to recap. For the sake of clarity and shit, it's been, it's been a while since our last meeting, that's all. We want control of the world. We will stop at nothing. As you can see here on my map, it all starts with Ohio. Control of the world. Let's go back to the start. In pursuit of our goal of controlling the world, I took the first meaningful steps forward in the first phase of our plan. Three years ago, I began to organize a three-pronged attack. And I'm going to go over it now because we've had some significant updates. So the three-pronged attack, right? We got three. Three prongs. The first one, agents in schools. The second in our three-pronged attack, chemicals in the water to turn the frickin' frogs gay. You following me so far? The third prong is arguably the most important. Build an army. Now I'm gonna go over the theories behind all of these. Three years ago I began reaching out to all of my contacts in America and placing them in American schools with the express goal of turning kids gay. Now some people may say that's unethical but they don't know the ins and outs of the plan because the truth is we actually didn't have to do anything. All that was required was giving people loving big brother figures and big sister figures. Someone to say, it's okay if you love another man or girl or whatever, because they didn't have that. We gave them that support and we took advantage of that captive market. So now three years on from the start of this plan, we have approximately 
gained an additional 500,000 gay kids in American schools. I don't know about you, but that's pretty impressive. Don't take these fucking heels off, Jesus Christ. Next, we have the chemicals in the water to turn the frickin' frogs gay. Now this one is an integral part of the plan, and it may at first not seem particularly clear why, but it's actually because this is a diversion. There is nothing short of a mind virus in the conservatives' head when it comes to gay frogs. They just cannot stop thinking about it. This is our diversion. We want the conservatives to focus on this one. And then under their noses, we're doing this. And this. And they don't even know because they are too busy thinking about two gay frogs f***ing. The third prong is one I've been working on personally. Building an army. Every movement needs a little bit of woman power. And so I took it upon myself to form a social media with a plan to gather and recruit new soldiers. And so far it is going swimmingly. So far, in fact, we have 50 2.5 thousand soldiers. That's enough people to overpower Greenland. Completely. An impressive figure, that one. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. I didn't even go over the status of the chemicals in the water to turn the frickin' frogs gay. Well, this was an interesting one. It is actually, as it turns out, quite difficult to get gay chemicals in America. But we got there in the end. I have dumped hundreds of thousands of kilograms of 14 different chemicals into America's water supply. It really is having an effect. Look at this fucking loser. He fell for it. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Do you understand that? Ugh, ugh, serious crap. Now I am of course honored to have been chosen as your leader. Actually, chosen is kind of a strong word. I have ingrained myself into your psyche as your leader and you have not protested. You have not yet revolted. Thus far, you have done everything I've said. See, I'm on top of the world. I am honored that you have not yet revolted. You have simply done exactly as I said, just like any good submissive would. Take your pick. Good boy, good girl, good envy. Yes, an entire army of submissives is exactly what we need right now. Just think, their loyalty is simply to the most dominant person on the battlefield and that will always be me. I think there is no questioning that at this point. Anyway, for now, we are continuing to make headway with our agents and schools. The plan has not changed here. We are going to continue this. But the second prong of our attack needs a bit of revision because I think it's actually time to take this a step further. I'm gonna start adding estrogen into the chemicals that we're putting into the water to turn the friggin' frogs gay, to make those chemicals into the chemicals that we're putting in the water to make those frogs trans. We need trans frogs on our side. As you can imagine, this will significantly heighten the effectiveness of our diversion tactic, which will lead to us being able to focus more openly on our other prongs, which is becoming exceptionally more important because our army continues to grow, and at the moment, with 52,500 people, it's not that much of a big deal. But soon, it is going to be difficult to stay under the radar. So we need, we, ideally, by the time we hit 100k, we need this diversion to be two times as effective. If. Ick. Tiv. Do you get what I'm saying? Now I've got some I've got some very interesting new plans for building an army, but unfortunately at this stage I am not able to reveal them. They are more effective if I keep them a secret for now. But you will know soon. For now, we shall continue as if nothing happened. Do you understand me? Dog speed all of you soldiers out there. And remember that the agenda must remain a secret at all costs. Do not leave a comment on this video talking about the agenda. Make sure that your comment is talking about how cute and cuddly you are or how cute and cuddly you think I am. Maybe you even just want to put a colon three or a little meow. Do not address the agenda in the comment section. I repeat, do not address it. This is the only way we can properly sell the deception. And of course, while you're at it in the comment section, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to help me grow this army. 
this glorious army of ours. You also need to share it with all of your trans friends so that they can be updated on the progress of our secret and plan. Also, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. It really helps me out. And of course, if you are able to provide monetary support and be a generous benefactor to the queer army, you can hit that join button down below and become a commissioned officer in our queer army. Our queer army. Toodles.